Hey y'all, I'm Victor Garcia, UCS Tutor, and today we're talking about strings. Now, in Java, uh, you can think of strings as those bracelets that we used to wear as kids where uh, you get a little string and you put uh, just beads with symbols or letters on them in a line or on the string, and they spell out words. And that's pretty much exactly how Java does it, because Java, uh, they just use characters so a character could be like any letter, uppercase, lowercase, or any of the symbols on your keyboard. Uh, Java makes strings is that it just connects all those characters together in a line, like how I did here with strings. So this person here has three bracelets, and the the first one is code, second one is width, and third one is us. Now let's say uh, you don't want three bracelets; you want just one. Uh, just because, I don't know, uh, it's too much on your wrists. So let's try and connect all these bracelets together. So let's go... So we're starting with an open bracelet, and we're just going to have four beads on here. So we go one, two, three, four, and the first one is going to be a C, a zero, uh, O, a D, and an E. And in Java, the way you'll write that would be S-T-R-I-N-G. And then whatever the name of your string you want to call them, we call it S1. We make it equal to our actual word. So it would be code in quotation marks. And this is how in Java to connect these characters into uh, a string name it s1 and wherever we have s1 would just be our string so there we go we have three strings and we just want to make one big bracelet the way we do that is we literally just grab the end of this bracelet and let's connect that to the beginning of this bracelet and now we have only two bracelets now and let's do that again with our first bracelet and connect it to our last one and there we go. So this will be our start. Let's call this zero. And this will be the end of our string. So this would be end. So now in code or in Java, the way you'll, that you'll do this is let's make another, let's get a new color in. Let's make another declaration. So we get string. And we'll call this S4. And instead of just uh, using uh, code with us, let's use our previous strings. And let's do S1 plus S2 plus S3. And if we were to print out S4, we will get code with us. And as you can see, there's no spaces because we never added a space character or a blank uh, bead. So whenever we connect these, you can think of it as this bead going directly to this uh, bead or this character going directly to this character. There's nothing in between. And that's why when we do concatenation, we have to make sure that uh, if you want spaces, that we have to explicitly uh, tell Java that. So just do a white space. Then S2, white space, and then S3. And instead of this being code with us all together, maybe code, space, with, space, us. What you just learned is called string concatenation. And that's pretty much when you just add other strings together and you create a, a, long, a longer string. 